Hi, I'm James from Chaosium. When I sat down with Bridget Jeffries, she shared her condensed wisdom about the Miskatonic repository, Chaosium's community publishing portal. I'm going to jump across to that interview in just a moment, but first, remember to subscribe to the Chaosium YouTube channel. It helps us out and it lets us make more content like this. Thanks. You are very clever to say condensed wisdom because you would have been here for the next 45 minutes. <laughs> okay, so if you are a writer or you want to be a writer or you're thinking about being a writer, I think the Miskatonic Repository is a great, not even a stepping stone, it can really be your big shot into getting your stuff published. And, oh, you said condensed, so now I have to figure out how to condense this all down. Okay, hot tips. Uh, one, if you're considering writing for a 7th edition Call of Cthulhu, I will give Jamie this information, but there is a Facebook group uh, called the Miskatonic, Crea Miskatonic Repository Creators Circle, and it's all people who either want to or are looking to or have published on the Miskatonic Repository. Phenomenal resource filled with really incredible people who are willing to donate their time, their experience, uh, and their perspective to help you get from, I have a great idea on my head to, hey, I'm actually a, a gold selling bestseller. And there are three Chaosium ambassadors in that group. So even if it's just not, how do I get started? It's, am I allowed to use this monster? One of us can come back and go, yes, you can, or no, you can't. Great resource for there. Uh, and then if you hop on to drive through RPG, uh, look up the Miskatonic repository, Chaosium has guidelines and things of that nature that'll help you as well. Those are my technical advices, my real advices. If you're thinking about doing it, do it. The time is now, do it. I understand it can be intimidating. You'll still need to do it because I guarantee you there are people on the Miskatonic repository, including me, that are not as creative as you are, that aren't as good writers as you are, that can't tell a story as well as you can, and you're holding back for whatever reason, and I am here to encourage you. It's like, stop holding back. Let's get this on the repository. Let's go. And then let me play it and run it for you. <laughs> Having read some of the Miskatonic Repository products, I am constantly blown away by all the creative ideas that I see, but I'll often see um, some of the elements of the Call of Cthulhu world that get a little bit left out, you know, some niche characters, some niche stories. Is there any element of the Cthulhu mythos or, or horror trope that you really want to see someone put into a Miskatonic Repository story? Oh, me personally? Mmm. I know it's played out and I know there's a bunch of scenarios with him in it, but I personally love the King in Yellow. Pastor just is my happy place. If you show me a yellow sign, I'm going to jump into that game quick, fast, and hurt. It's just one of my favorites. I just, I just, I've always loved him. I've always loved that history. Um, I think recently here, I've been delving into the colors out of space. So I would love to see some more interactions with them. Uh, one of my questions uh, that I'm actually gonna propose to uh, my group of friends is, all right, so Jamie, you're familiar with the colors. Yep, yep. Okay, so they land, they warp the environment, and like some animals come out with like weird mutations if they're born under the influence. What happens if a human was born under the influence? What do they look like? How do they act? How are they different? I, I want to see fun new approaches to common monsters that we always see. I, I think that's that's great. That that's a that's a story that I would be there for. I'd I'd, I'd be very interested. <laughs> right. Like, How's that work? I mean, anybody can do okay, you know, the baby walks around the corner with two heads on their head, but like, no, what's something weird? What's something that's really like, what happened to this? Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. I, and what's the sort of creepy, you know, does it, does it change the way you think? Does it change the way, yeah. Right, what's in its rattle? I mean, it's just so many things you can do with that. So that's one of the questions I'm gonna pitch to actually um, my little circle of horror friends, like, hey, what do you think would happen if this happened? having been in the position as a writer and now in the position of kind of a curator, is there something that you've noticed in your own work or you've noticed in a trend in everybody else's work that as an editor, you go, oh, I need to change this. You know, you, you realize that you are always doing something that you go, oh, I, I, suddenly that's, that's a point. <laughs> oh, Jamie, stop asking me these questions and I could be here all day. <laughs> <laughs> um, Something personally that I have issues with, and uh, it's funny, I was talking to some podcasters about this on the Miskatonic University podcast, is uh, Keeper Dave described it as, or Keeper Murph described it as bloat. When you're writing a scenario, having so many loose ends that you feel like you need to compensate for all of those in your writing, and then you get overwhelmed and you just walk away from the project. It's like, ah, this is too much to do. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. So something I need to know I need to work on is buttoning things up. Um, I'll get a contract saying, hey, write a two-hour game, and then suddenly I send a six-hour pitch. I have to learn how to dial back. Uh, that's me and my personal 
hiccups among in uh, that's one among many. Um, but for anybody listening, I think the one big thing I would say is get help. Don't try to do that by yourself. There's so much that goes into doing it. Don't do it by yourself. I, I wouldn't be here right now talking to you, Jamie, with Chaosium, or even have anything on the Miskatonic repository if I tried to do it by myself. Humble yourself, step back, go get help. L lots of it. Is there any last thing that you want to add that I haven't asked you that you think would be would be fun to talk about? Or I think in parting, uh, just because I am literally the the loudest screamingest person when it comes to self-publishing on the Miskatonic Repository. If you're looking to write, if you're thinking about writing, but you don't know where to start, or you don't know if you can do it, or even if you have it completely finished and you're just like, ah, join that Facebook group or reach out to me. My email address is Bridget at, so that's bridge that you walk across with two T's uh, at chaosium.com. I can get you plugged in with some of the other community ambassadors. Nick Brook walks on water. He's absolutely phenomenal. Alan Carey is amazing. He's the Seeds of Terror guys. I know you've probably played uh, the uh, mummy of Pemberley, the Pemberley mummy. Sorry, Alan, I love you. Sorry for messing up that title. But he's great for branding. Nick is great for print on demand. Uh, I'm great for just being really loud and encouraging and patient. So don't, don't sit on your creativity. Get it out there. We want to see it. Chaosium wants to see it. I mean, we're not pushing the Miskatonic repository because it's fun and colorful. All of us want to see your stuff, so we need you to get up and actually do it. And if you don't know how, reach out to one of us and let us help. Oh, and the Storytelling Collective, also known as the RPG or RPG Writers Workshop, has now partnered with Chaosium, and they're actually offering a class on how to write your own scenario. It starts on July 1st. It's 35 bucks. Hop on this class. I've seen some of the material. It's written by uh, award winner Paul Fricker, which... Uh, not only is one of the writers for Call of Cthulhu, but also put out uh, Full Fathom 5, which is like blowing up in languages all across the world. By the way, that's a Miskatonic Repository production. That could be you. Um, join that class. Amazing content, great homework assignments. And by the time you're finished, you should have a full scenario. Remember, the Miskatonic Repository doesn't require you to have a four-hour scenario. There's a gentleman on there like making a killing on pamphlets, which is like a two-page scenario. And he's doing great with them. It doesn't have to be perfect, just get it out there.